Hi guys. You thought I'd do a little walk around with this power hammer that I built. It's built solely from scrap out of a scrap pile. Things that I've salvaged or scavenged. Um, everything from the old table legs that are scrolled that you see there. Um, linkages, springs. The only thing I purchased were the nuts and bolts to put it together and the two slides. So the whole thing cost me about $55, $60 to build. Uh, it's an old gate scroll that I had left over from a project uh, 100 years ago that acts as the uh, clutch arm for the belt. It's got an old pulley I've had laying around for 100 years that tensions the belt. an old cast iron pulley off of a uh, conveyor belt that I salvaged, oh, I don't know, 15 years ago, I guess, or more. Same with the uh, bearings, came off the same machine. And that flywheel in the front is a plug that was cut out of a patch plate for a ship. It was torched out. I turn it on my lathe, balance it, and The uh, spring is off of an old Honda CB750 and railroad tracks for the hammer and anvil. The hammer and its assembly weighs uh, 25 pounds. Then I got a 12 by 12 section of old beam out of a building that uh, that anvil sits on, on a railroad plate. I think I'll get a uh, probably an 8 inch round solid steel piece. Those tracks that you see there, those uh, guides are actually CNC parts and they're really the only part that I bought. And they ran about $20 a piece I think. And she's running. And we tension the belt. And the spring is fairly loose, but it gives it a uh, a real good hammer effect. And you can actually run it so it'll tap pretty lightly, or you can crank it up and, and really get it moving, and it, uh, it does quite well for what it is. I use it a lot. Just recently built this thing. And I literally modeled it from pictures that I've seen of little giant hammers and YouTube videos that I've watched just for the mechanism, how it works. And I think it would work a little bit better if it had a steel anvil under it, but um, that wood sort of absorbs a lot of the energy. That old motor was off that same conveyor belt that I got that hip pulley off of. Um, it was all free. I was going to a scrap yard and uh, talked to a guy and he said, yeah, salvage off of it what you want and I've had it forever. And decided to put all this together and it seemed to work out. It's amazing what you can build out of a pile of scrap. Anyway. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Have fun.